A mouse embryo with six limbs. Scientists have grown a mouse embryo with an extra pair of pores where the genitals should develop. These studies revealed how changes in the three-dimensional structure of DNA can affect the development of embryos. Investigating how the spatial arrangement of DNA can influence embryonic development, scientists at the Gulbenkian Science Institute in Oeiras, Portugal, grew a mouse embryo with extra limbs where the genitals should be. But this was not a deliberate action of the researchers. The embryo developed unexpected structures after inactivating a gene responsible for the production of a protein important for the development of embryos. These studies can provide key information about the early stages of development. The description and results of the work were published in the journal, Nature Communications. Every organism begins as a tiny cluster of cells that gradually develops the structures it needs. This increase results from a complex network of instructions telling specific genes to turn on or off depending on their exact location in the body and stage of development. Over time, these instructions become more and more detailed. A team of scientists led by Moises Mallow studied TGFBR1, a receptor protein that is involved in many aspects of embryonic development. The researchers inactivated the gene responsible for producing the protein in mouse embryos that were about halfway through development to see how this change would affect the developing spinal cord. But it turned out that the changes go far beyond the spinal cord. One of the bioengineered embryos had two extra legs where his genitals should have been. This discovery took research on a completely different track. In most animals, both the external genitalia, penis or clitoris, and hind limbs develop from the same primary structures. When the researchers took a closer look at the six-legged mouse, they found that TGFBR1 directs these structures to become sex organs or limbs. It does this by changing the way DNA is arranged or folded in the cells of this structure. Inactivating the protein changed the activity of other genes, resulting in extra limbs rather than genitals. Our work reveals extraordinary tissue plasticity that may have potential consequences for the evolution of the hind lime and genital area and identifies an additional mechanism of TGFBR1 activity that may also contribute to the control of other physiological or pathological processes, the study authors conclude. The team now plans to investigate whether TGFBR1 and its relatives can alter DNA structure in other systems, such as cancer, and whether they affect immune function. By deepening our knowledge on this topic, we may be able to obtain key information about the mechanisms behind various developmental diseases.
artificial intelligence helped discover previously unknown drawings in Nazca. Three huge, previously unknown geoglyphs have been identified on the Nazca Plateau. They represent a pair of legs measuring 78 meters, a fish measuring 19 meters and a bird measuring 17 meters. Artificial intelligence algorithms helped scientists in their search. The research was carried out by a team from IBM Japan and Yamagata University, which used deep learning algorithms in the search. They scanned a huge number of aerial photos from the Nazca Desert, which is known for the ancient works of art carved into its landscape. And although artificial intelligence AI, is much faster at finding geoglyphs in aerial photos, even it does not know why thousands of years ago people carved these unusual structures in the deserts of southern Peru. An article describing the discovery was published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. Scientists argue that thanks to the use of their algorithms, geoglyphs can be detected up to 21 times faster than if a human were to look for them. The program searches for new drawings by quickly analyzing huge data banks containing aerial photos. The eye learns to recognize the characteristics of geoglyphs from the Nazca Desert, so it can then find similar patterns. Our machine learning method is inspired by the connections of nerve cells in the brain. It enables computers to learn specific features from large amounts of data and then make predictions or decisions. It demonstrates high performance in tasks such as image recognition speech and natural language processing, explained scientists from Yamagata University. Detecting something through deep learning identifies a specific class of objects from images and then determines their location, size and classification. This is similar to the process that humans use to distinguish dogs and cats. But in this case it is done by a computer, the researchers added in a statement. Artificial intelligence has previously helped Japanese scientists research the Nazca Plateau. In 2019, while analyzing aerial images, she found over 140 unknown drawings. Three years later, algorithms made further discoveries. This time they found nearly 170 previously unknown geoglyphs. The Nazca Lines are a group of geoglyphs that were carved in the desert of southern Peru between 500 BC and 500 AD. Hundreds of these mysterious sculptures have been discovered over the last century. They were created by making recesses in the ground. Their builders removed the top layer of reddish, iron-rich dirt, exposing the lighter subsoil. Geoglyph creators often use natural motifs such as people, animals, fish, birds, insects, lizards, dogs, cats, monkeys, and plants, trees and flowers. Among the Nazca lines you can also find more mysterious images, depicting humanoid monsters with two faces and giant two-headed snakes eating people. There are also various geometric figures. There is much speculation as to why people put so much effort into creating these giant sculptures, especially since they are only fully visible from the air. Some researchers theorize that they may have aided in travel or had some astronomical significance. There is also a group of researchers who believe that geoglyphs were works of art made for the deities in the heavens.
For now, the answer to the question about the reasons for making these gigantic sculptures remains unknown. An artificial material that bends toward light could improve the performance of solar panels. Scientists have developed a material that behaves similarly to plants and follows light, like a sunflower, which, along with the apparent movement of the sun across the sky, positions itself to absorb as much light as possible. Sunbot, as scientists have named the technology, can significantly improve the performance of solar panels. A team of scientists from the University of California, Los Angeles and Arizona State University have developed a material that imitates plants and their tilt towards the incident light. This behavior is called phototropism and means that plants grow in the direction of the incident light. It occurs primarily in plants, but phototropism can also be observed in other organisms, such as some fungi. Sunflowers are perhaps the most famous example of phototropism. Scientists have developed a similar technology, they called it Sunbot, Sunflower-like Biomimetic Omnidirectional Tracker. They created a polymer material that tilts towards the light source without any other factors. In an article published in the journal Nature Nanotechnology, a group of scientists described the developed material and its effectiveness in tests. Sunbot is the first artificial material capable of phototropism. The cylinder-like shoots of material can maneuver to capture about 90% of available sunlight, even when the sun hits different angles. Zeman He of the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and her team say the technology could one day be used to optimize solar panels, desalinate water or move robots. There were early attempts to create a synthetic material that would imitate the behavior of sunflowers in chasing sunlight. But nothing has been created that even resembles Sunbot's abilities. This material is capable of self-regulating, positioning itself in the optimal position needed to absorb as much sunlight as possible, and then making small adjustments to track the sun's apparent movement across the sky. Synthetic stems that tilt toward the light source provide a moving platform that could dramatically improve the efficiency of a range of solar technologies. In their work, the researchers looked at gels and polymers that respond predictably to light or heat. Several different materials were selected as candidates worth further investigation including a hydrogel containing gold nanoparticles, a tangle of light-sensitive polymers, and a type of liquid crystal elastomer embedded in a light-absorbing dye. Sunbot's ability to follow light comes from the properties of these materials. The artificial sunflower stem is composed of polymers with a diameter of approximately 1 mm. It was embedded in a nanomaterial that reacts to light, 
The nanomaterial absorbs light and turns it into heat, and the polymer contracts in response to the increased temperature. During the tests, when the researchers aimed a beam of light at one of the artificial stems, the illuminated side heated up and contracted. This caused the top of the artificial stem to tilt towards the light. In turn, the shaded underside of the stem cooled, stopping the sunbot's movement in a position best oriented to absorb light. The process repeats as the angle of the light beam changes. Tests with other materials, such as carbon black nanoparticles and liquid crystal polymers, have shown that the ingredients can be mixed and matched to work in different environments and for different applications. For example, hydrogel sun BOTs work well in water. Sun BOTs can be placed in rows to cover the entire intended area, creating a mini forest of artificial sunflowers. The developed material has the potential to solve one of the biggest problems related to solar energy. Because the angle of sunlight changes as the sun moves overhead, conventional materials cannot keep up. Materials that stay in one position, like solar cells on a solar panel, capture about 24% of available solar energy. By following the sun's rays, Sunbot can collect much more sunlight energy. Scientists say that Sunbot collects four times more energy from light falling at sharp angles than a flat, static surface. Our work could have applications for improved solar energy devices, adaptive signal receivers, smart windows, self-driving robotics, solar sails for spacecraft, self-regulating optical devices, and smart power generation, for example, from solar cells and biofuels can also be used to detect and track energy emissions using telescopes, radars and hydrophones, the authors of the invention wrote in the publication. Even if only a handful of the predictions presented come to fruition, it will be a major achievement.